Working Group update. Hi, I'm Alex Scammon. I'm one of the co-chairs for the CNCF Batch Working Group. You can find me at StackSax in a bunch of the regular places, the ones that I'm interested in being on at least. I gave a brief update last time in Valencia about the same topic. In that conversation, I thought that it was practical to entertain people with lots of pictures of very cute animals. The, uh, the theme being that these are batches of animals. And in English, we have collective nouns for each one of these batches. So you have an embarrassment of pandas, a, a prickle of hedgehogs, a, a waddle of penguins, a bed of sloths, and a flamboyance of flamingos. And that was how I, how I kept people engaged, or, or so I thought. I won't stoop so low this time, but at the end of that conversation, somebody in the audience asked me if we have collective nouns for Kubernetes resources. So at the very end of this talk, I'll, I'll put forward a, a humble proposal for collective nouns for things like pods and deployments and things. So until then, I'm gonna talk about what the Batch System Initiative Working Group actually is. And surprise, surprise, it's a new working group. Yay! Another place to come and uh, talk about uh, woes or thoughts or ideas about batch scheduling. And a, a brief history of this, earlier in the year, there's a group called the Tag Runtime, uh, which a number of people in the audience here are involved with. There's Ricardo and Ricardo and uh, Klaus and things. People are uh, here in this room who drive that conversation. But they realized that they were having conversations around batch scheduling over and over, and they felt that there was a place for uh, a discussion around batch specifically. And so we started to talk in March about that thing, batch scheduling, as a, its own separate group. Recently, in September of this year, we uh, uh, got approved as a bona fide CNCF working group thing. So just so you're, you're aware, or if you're worried at all, we are actually approved and you can come and speak with us as a, as a real CNCF body. And what we're, what we're largely trying to do um, is just have the conversation around what's going on in batch scheduling in a cloud native context today. And we're trying to do that at what I've called here is like an application level level, which is different from uh, Kubernetes native level where Kubernetes could do batch scheduling itself, but it, it can't right now. So there's a lot of uh, alternatives have been created or have been worked on at an application level, things that you would do with another thing to allow you to do batch scheduling in a cloud native context or in, in Kubernetes. Uh, for example, uh, there's um, Slurm or Condor, there are people from the, those communities in this conversation who talk about taking existing batch schedulers and using them in a cloud native context. Or and we've heard from a couple people here already, uh, Gaurav mentioned MCAD earlier. Uh, we uh, will hear from Jamie about Armada in, in a bit. There's also, uh, oh, Diana is back there on MCAD. Volcano is what Klaus uh, founded. So there's a whole bunch of reactions to Kubernetes not being able to do batch scheduling today and that all of these various applications have grown out around that need. So we, we sit down and talk about that and all of our shared woes and pains, but not just the project maintainers. What we, what we really want are the end users who are trying to implement these tools to come and talk to us about what's going on for them so that we can better sort of shape and guide our roadmaps in, in all of these projects to better ends. Uh, and this, the whole conversation is at this higher level than what the Kubernetes working group is talking about. And I need to take a moment to talk about that because it is super confusing. There are two working groups. There's one called the Kubernetes batch working group, and there's us, the CNCF 
batch working group, and it's very confusing. But to, to sort it out, what's happening here is that the uh, Kubernetes batch working group is working on the lower level initiatives to make Kubernetes more, uh, uh, more batch scheduling positive. And you heard just before the break Aldo talking about a lot of those movements in like the Jobs API to uh, better, uh, better serve batch scheduling needs. And what he was talking about is largely being driven out of that conversation in the batch working group. Uh, and so it's a lower level conversation. Whereas for us in the CNCF batch working group, we're not so focused on the lower level uh, implementation details, but we, we're talking about the higher level uh, workings of, of the tools that sit above Kubernetes or on top of or with Kubernetes. I hope that makes sense. If not, come and ask me again. I'll be happy to try and explain it. It's complicated, I know. But if you're not so interested in those lower level details of how to move the jobs API forward, we are probably the place that you want to, to be talking about the, the higher level problems that you're facing in the batch ecosystems. So what we're doing currently in uh, this conversation, largely we're having the conversation. We are trying to bring people together, all the interested parties. So everyone in this room, you're, you're here today, you're interested in this conversation. I can tell you wouldn't have shown up on a Monday first thing to all the way in Detroit if you weren't interested in this. So everyone here should actually be interested in what we have to, to talk about. So this talk right now is, is mostly a welcome, please come and chat with us. So that's, that's number one, what we want to do. There's another thing that we're doing, which is putting together a survey to send out to the wider CNCF audience or beyond to, to get more of an idea about what's ailing people, what people are trying to do in the batch ecosystem so that we can drive the conversation again. We would love to get to a point where we could publish a white paper on the state of batch scheduling in a, in a cloud native context. Um, you know, the, the, the landscape is very complicated right now. There are a lot of tools that do complementary things, a lot of tools that do the same things, and for end users to figure out exactly what to use when for which uh, use case is very hard. So we, we would love to get to that point where we could publish some guidance for everyone in the CNCF landscape. And ideally, ideally, we would actually set up some sandboxes for people to come and play around with these tools to get an actual sense of them. Because you, you often need a sizable estate to be able to test these things out usefully. Um, you know, this is large scale stuff. And we're hoping that we can get some resources to put, to put something together for people to come and, and mess around. So that's what we're currently working on. Um, very quickly, if you're interested in this conversation, please come and join us. We meet every week, uh, I'm sorry, every other week at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, there's a Zoom channel that you can join. If you join the Google group, you should magically have the calendar invite added to your thing and you'll be forever ours. If that doesn't prove to be the case, jump onto Slack, find us in the Batch Working Group channel on the Cloud Native Slack workspace. There are some other useful links out there. You can also reach out to me or my co-chair, Klaus. Our emails are there, really happy to talk. And then lastly, as I promised, some of the collective nouns that I just humbly propose could work for us. A pondering of pods, perhaps? A cacophony of containers, anyone? a catastrophe of clusters, a conundrum of custom resource definitions. Positively, a delight of daemon sets, a duchy of deployments, a revolt of replica sets. Just, just some thoughts. If you have any others, if you want to, to suggest things, please reach out. And then uh, a raft of otters. Thanks very much. That's it for me. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. Any questions? So is the working group focused on Kubernetes as the lower level 
orchestration substrate, or is this like? How do you think about that? Yeah, I was trying very hard to not say Kubernetes specifically throughout this talk and just cloud native context. In practice, we have been talking a lot about Kubernetes as the lower level substrate for uh, orchestration. But I, I think that we would like the conversation to be broader than that, ideally. Um, you know, we, we will be hopefully looking at other uh, cloud um, contexts. So. Question: uh, How's the graduation from bat, uh, from working group uh -huh. to SIG will look like? I mean, today we are talking and we we collaborate together. What's the next step? I mean, um, I don't think we graduate. I think it's we were spun off of a conversation out of a tag or out of a SIG, uh, and we will be our what we are for the duration. Uh, so it's not like we're trying to get to some other magical level. We are a working group that wants to have people like you involved either to help the conversation or to, to do some of the initiatives I was talking about, the, the survey or the white paper or setting up the infrastructure. Like we intend to, to do things in this conversation, if that, if that helps. Mm -hmm. Well, so I, because my understanding is yeah. in the in the working group, you know, we don't code, and the SIG is where the code lives. Yeah. So when is that transition will happen? So I, I mentioned the Kubernetes batch working group, um, and so if it's specific to the the Kubernetes coding that Aldo was talking about, for example, the the discussion is happening in the Kubernetes working group, and I, I believe there's a SIG that is taking on the, the developments of the job API and the, uh, uh, the queue project and things like that. For us, the, the maintainers of those projects that I mentioned, like MCAD or Armada or Volcano or Slurm or Echicondo or perhaps Unicorn, um, are all in the discussion there. So there's not a SIG to go to, it's those those specific projects all have their maintainers and will be taking the feedback from this discussion to their own projects. Does that help? Cool. Yeah. Any other questions? <laughs>